deploying an Accenta Store virtual storage appliance on top of your existing VMware environment, whether it's for a hyper-converged environment or whether you've got block storage, is a very simple task. Simply open the vCenter console, right-click on one of your clusters, and say Deploy OBF. From here, enter the URL. Now this URL can be found on our website, off of our blog site as well. Just say Next, say you're okay with the certificate, and tell the machine what you want to call it, as well as where you want to put that virtual machine. From here, you have to pick the cluster for your compute resources before VMware goes and starts validating all of the OBF package configuration. Now, these pieces are there because we've gone ahead and made this very simple to deploy and given you some best practices around different size virtual storage appliances. Once you've reviewed the details here, you now pick that virtual storage appliance size. You'll notice on small, it's a single CPU with eight gig of RAM and four 500 gig data disks. Now these are pre-created when you do the OBF deployment. You can also choose medium to get a little larger. That does four two terabyte drives or the large, which does four four terabyte drives. Each one also goes up in compute for CPU as well as memory as needed. Now you're gonna pick where you're gonna put that storage. In my environment, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on one of my NFS mounts. Select which networks you want for both management as well as your data. You can separate these off to make sure you're following best practices. Here's where you're gonna set those data drives. The sizes are already pre-configured, but you can change them if you want. Once you say finish on this, it'll actually go and create the entire OBF for you. Now I've already created one that's very similar right here that you can see I have running. Once this is deployed, it downloads the entire VMDK for the boot drive, deploys it, you turn it on, and you simply run the system setup command from the login prompt. The username and password can also be found on the blog, as well as all the commands you need to be deploying that virtual storage appliance with your file shares ready to go in probably under 10 or 15 minutes. There's your virtual storage appliance deployment from Nexenta Store.